three weeks ago, I got a really big problem with DaVinci Resolve. I was editing like normal, the program crashed like normal, but then something stupid happened. If I opened my project again, which normally works, it crashed instantly. And then I realized, wow, I am fucked. No backup files, no way to enter my project where I spent two weeks editing. In the internet, I didn't find a solution for this problem, but I didn't want to give up. So I spent weeks analyzing the intern DaVinci database files until I finally found a solution. But unfortunately, the solution is highly technical. You have to go in the intern database files of the project and tweak multiple values. So I thought maybe I could do this progress much easier. And lucky for you, I wrote a program which do all the hard stuff for you. And now I will explain you how it works and how you can and save your project. So the first thing what we do is we make a copy of the broken project. My project is my cat project so I press copy and I paste it. Why do we do this? My application will change your project file and if DaVinci make an update or something like this you are 100% sure that you make your project not more broken. So if I now open the copy you will see it will not work. Reloading and we crash immediately. Now is the time you need my software. Currently there are two ways. The first for Windows user I recommend this, download the application file. So go to my video description, there you find the link to, uh, to my Google Drive. Here you can download my exe file, this is German but then you press uh, download anyway. Save the file in your downloads, then execute it. The Windows protection just come because I am an unknown publisher, uh, but we can run it anyway. So we press yes, we downloaded it, I want a shortcut to the desktop and I install it. And now I can launch the software and here it is. If you're not on Windows or you don't want to do this, you can also just go to the domain in the video description. At the moment the link looks like this. Uh, this is the same application just as a website, it's a little bit slower and it doesn't work in every browser and it needs some additional steps so I recommend the first method but this also works and now I will show you how. First you have to select your project db file. Okay, where do you find this? You go into Vinci, you see your local database or your database you are in, then you click on open file location, then you go to resolve projects, users, guest, projects then you search your project name in my case my cat project copy and here is a project db file which is broken and which we want to fix therefore you have to copy this path then you press on the button the path we copied can we paste now here and you see that's the project db file we want we press open and we uploaded it to the website. Now you can start my script by pressing try to rescue my project. If you are on the website this needs a little bit longer. And we get a new project file. Now important this is the now hopefully working project db file which we use to replace the old one. Therefore we use the exact same path again. We paste it. We go into the file important you have to look that the name is also just project db then you one click on this you click on save and then project db already exists do you want to replace it yes so now your project should be working but before we check if this really works i just want to mention that here is the buy me a coffee button which would really help me to improve and maintain this project hopefully without losing money uh, yeah, but now we go in. If I now go into DaVinci and press my cat project copy It's working so you are back in the project So now is the time to not be scared if you can't join your project You will see an empty timeline, but that's not a problem. You are just in the empty space My program kicked you out of the problematic part of your timeline. So I just have to go back in my timeline, that's this one, and this is the project I was working on. But now an important disclaimer. My program just helps you to get back into your project, it doesn't fix the real issue. So in my case, I found out that this adjustment clip caused the crash from DaVinci. So I just have to delete it. 
and now everything works fine. So I hope this video could help you to rescue your project. If there's anything wrong with the script, please write in the comments, I will try to fix it. If you like this video, give it a like. Have a great day, thanks for watching.